Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the fifth annual International Jazz Day, which is already in full swing around the world. I just heard that we got 450 million impressions already, and it's in, I think, an amazing number of countries, almost all over the world, including Antarctica. <laughs> They're having something today. So on, on behalf of the millions of people celebrating Jazz Day for 24 hours straight, on all seven continents, I'd like to thank President Obama and Michelle Obama for hosting our all-star global concert at the White House. We extend our gratitude to Mayor Muriel Bowser and the citizens and government of Washington, D.C. for serving as our host city this particular year. And I'd like to recognize and thank my partners who worked tirelessly to make International Jazz Day bigger and better every year. Tom Carter, the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz, where our service chairman and the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, better known as UNESCO, where I'm a goodwill ambassador and the director general of UNESCO, Irina Bokova. Many thanks to our corporate sponsors and partners. This year's lead partner is Toyota. And thank you to the official airline of International Jazz Day, United Airlines. Today, jazz will be performed and discussed in the streets, libraries, schools, hospitals, clubs, concert halls, movie theaters, community centers, senior centers, and arts venues. What else is left? I mean, it's everywhere, right? <laughs> and through the thousands of events taking place in over 190 countries, jazz will prove its value as a diplomatic tool and will open the hearts and minds of the world to the possibilities and realities of peaceful coexistence. Five years ago, Jazz Day was, was a small, but substantial phenomena. And now, thanks to the cooperation of billions, yeah, that's what I said, billions of people of all ages, races, and religions, it's become a powerful global movement, so enormous that it blankets our entire planet. And yet, it's also a philosophy that can take root and fit perfectly into our hearts. As a musician who's traveled around the world many, many, many times, I've seen firsthand how the ethics of jazz erases prejudice, breaks down barriers, and builds bridges among disparate people and nations, but you really don't have to travel to points unknown to understand what I experienced over and over again. Just take some time today and listen to a jazz band play and interact. The goals of International Jazz Day are noble. I know it's, it's a huge undertaking. And we're bound to meet resistance and challenges along the way, but we're ready. Jazz was born over a century ago in the United States. And soon after its creation in New Orleans, it spread first from town to town, then from state to state, and finally from country to country. 
with its passion and power to heal, jazz, once a unique American art form, now belongs and, and unites the whole world. Let's make good use of this force so we can leave the world in a better shape for our children and our grandchildren. Our fellow citizens face unfathomable hardships every single day and night of the year. They're crying out for original ideas to counterbalance the negativity and the raw famine of the spirit encircling the globe. So today on International Jazz Day, please join forces, play louder and sing out with more urgency than ever before to demonstrate and send our message of peace and harmony around the world. Let's make music for peace and harmony, not against hostility and hatred. <coughs> On International Jazz Day, I encourage all of you to have fun. Learn a little and adopt the ethics of jazz by taking a few minutes to think about others and have the courage to reach out with a helping hand. And then keep this spirit alive in your heart every single day of the year. Thank you and happy International Jazz Day. <laughs>